D'Angelo Russell just broke the Lakers' franchise record for threes in a season. There it is! Single season, three-point mark for the Lakers, now belongs to D'Angelo Russell. In this video, we take a closer look at how he did it. And Russell in the front court, no hesitation, it's good! D'Lo creates space for pull-up threes with a constant series of fakes, hezzies, and crossovers, challenging defenders to match a complicated rhythm if they want to stay attached. Watch his feet on this play. Some steps are heel-toe, while he takes others on the balls of his feet. Some steps are long and slow, while others are short and quick. Every change of pace and speed is an attack on the defense, and D'Lo knows how to throw these in combination. All he needs is for them to bite on one of these moves, and that provides enough space for him to get his jumper off. This type of unpredictable rhythm was a key part of Nick Van Exel's style too. He had held this record since 1995 prior to D'Lo breaking it. The tricky part about pull-up jumpers is the transition from dribbling to shooting, and D'Lo excels at gathering his dribble from any position and getting right into his shot, whether it's bringing his offhand to the ball off a left-handed dribble, or a shooting hand to the ball when he's dribbling it with his right. He makes a lot of his threes even with somebody right on him, simply because he got into his shooting motion faster than they got their hand up. D'Lo is making 39% of his pull-up threes, ranking 7th amongst the 33 players who take at least 2.5 of these per game. D'Lo dribbles up the right sideline here, looks down and brings his right hand to the ball, and then looks up at the rim. That's him selling the thread of a pull-up three, but Trey Murphy doesn't bite on it. So D'Lo flows into the next move, which is an inside-out dribble, followed by a pair of behind-the-back crossovers. This sets him up to use Jackson's screen going middle. And it's here where D'Lo's understanding of what the defender has to do comes in handy. Murphy's job is to ice this screen and not let D'Lo go middle, but he's a beat behind and has to hurry to get there in time. So D'Lo steps back into the side, forcing Murphy to chase him in the other direction, and he can't quite catch up. Oh, look at this move. Do the dance! Have it some fun! D'Lo is an expert at running his defender off screens like this in the pick and roll. These pull-up opportunities are already there on a lot of transition possessions where defenses are backpedaling and trying to get set. He has a great knack for recognizing when these shots are available and relishes the chance to force a timeout with a pull-up three on the break. But most of D'Lo's threes come when he's operating off of the ball. The Lakers have a number of players who can create with the ball in their hands, so D'Lo's ability to seamlessly transition from being an on-ball point guard to an off-ball floor spacer is a great asset to the Lakers' drive and kick game. Once the Lakers' ball handler draws a second defender, the team has gotten very good at swinging the ball around the perimeter, with D'Lo being at the end of a lot of these possessions. And once D'Lo has a defender in chase mode, he's great at using shot fakes to lose them completely. He doesn't jump very high when he shoots, which he's actually turned into an advantage. His shot fake looks a lot like his actual shot, so he's able to keep his feet on the ground and stay under control, while the defender has to respect the possibility that he'll take it. He pairs that shot fake with a step back that goes back into the right. This is one of his more common moves as an off-ball shooter, using it when defenders are trying to run him off the line, but are a step behind. It's just a step back for Russell! Dilo can also shoot while on the move, making him a threat on set plays or off relocations. There is D'Angelo Russell! There's an old basketball adage that says one of the best ways to get a shooter open is to have him set a screen, and this has been a key part of the Lakers' offense. He passes the ball to LeBron at the elbow and starts to cut through on this play and watch his eyes. He pretends like he's going to continue on with his cut, but at the last moment he veers off to set a screen on Clint Capella and makes good contact on it. That gives AD a path to the rim and both Atlanta players react to that and that leads to D'Lo being all by himself behind the line. He takes excellent screening angles and makes contact on a lot of his screens, which in turn helps him get open as a shooter. He's also a great option as an on-ball screener for LeBron when teams like to send two defenders to him. He'll start these plays below the three-point line and then come up to set the screen for LeBron before popping out into the open space beyond the arc. D'Lo takes nearly seven threes per game, and one of the reasons why is because he doesn't need perfect circumstances to get his shot off. Many players struggle to shoot if their feet aren't set or if the pass is outside of their shot pocket, but D'Lo can turn these situations into gold. LeBron, cross court. That great vision it is. D'Lo off of one leg! He can also shoot from a standstill triple threat position without any rhythm at all. 
He's hit a couple of no-dip threes recently, where he doesn't bring the ball down when he catches it, allowing him to get the shot up before the defender can get there. To Russell, his three is good! And the Lakers lead by six! And once he gets hot, he can string together a flurry of threes in a matter of moments, which can completely change the complexion of the game. D'Angelo Russell is having one of the greatest three-point shooting seasons in Lakers history this year, making a career-high 42% from deep, while breaking a franchise record that stood for nearly 30 years. It's just to get credit for your game and what you work do and showcase it every night, and just to get credit for it for something like this, it's really cool. 